It says uh, United Kingdom is a country in Europe. Seems like the British suffer from the tea shortages, but I think it's a whole a lot of more problems they are facing with. They seem to be in a very good mood, in a very, very good humor. Because this video is also dedicated to invitation to the court. I am not going to refer to this uh, pedophile ring from London as royals anymore. Oh, this picture is hanging in there already for so long. Pretty much pester with the same issues. Well, today I am going to be concentrating myself in respect to the watch which I have ordered. Yeah, well, such is the thing. It's not finished. It's not finished yet. The whole thing is not finished yet in respect to the watch. The finish with which um, also psychiatrist Peter Kapsch was very, very familiarized who interacted with Pedo King, British Pedo King, Charles Windsor, it says here Mount Button. Mount Button Windsor. We're not over with the watch. This is just the beginning with this watch. Yeah, I received death threats. Even death threats I received, I was told. The watch, if you will insist on one, you will get one, but you will be sorry, and so on and so forth by Prince Harry, with barrage of death threats that follow on me. It says here, uh, the transaction is completed. The transaction is nowhere near completed. This transaction just started. I started the transaction money that went out of my bank account on January the 7th of 2024, just as it's seen right there. And it's now it's getting hot and it's going to get hotter. For this criminal, you see right here,
really too small to take any kind of responsibility. He was just good to steer the shit. Cause a lot of problems. Really dangerous individual. A real threat to society. A violent thug. With a psychiatric license in his hands. That needed extra, extra, extra motivation. To even appear at his work back in the day. Suitable for the side employment, for the job from Windsor's. It was this man here, this one, who insisted. I will never get mentioned watch. And eventually have developed with the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, who continued to claim psychiatrist, this criminal here that I demonstrated you. You'll be nothing you'll be able to do to them. You'll be nothing. You know, like, I don't know why they were so sure there will be nothing I'll be able to do to them. Why was this guy so sure that I'm not going to be capable to do nothing to them? What was he so certain about that I'm not going to be able to do nothing to them? Because he repeated to me, I'm not going to be capable to do nothing to them at least a thousand times. And I really wonder what makes this guy so certain about that I'm not going to be capable to do nothing to them. It could be. And maybe this guy here that's posing on a front page of the British Express UK. See right there. Maybe they count on some criminal illegal procedures that Trump already enforced against me in the past. But so what? Joe Biden did too. And he didn't help one or the other. I'm still here. I'm still alive. Nobody can take away my witnessing from what I provided for the people of this world when it comes to it. Question. What was MKUltra, the so-called MKUltra, all about? Today, everybody, whoever participated in MKUltra knows whom they're dealing with. And the impression these people have made, at least on my blog, they're never going to take away one from me. These are the finals when it comes to this uh, pedoring and pedo and their pedo king from London, nothing is going to change any of it. So I don't know what exactly this guy meant when he claimed me that I'm not going to be capable to do nothing to them. There is a whole a lot. There is a whole a lot more I will do. I want British, for one thing, to acknowledge that the pedo king from London is above the law, that he is above the constitution, that he is above international treaties. I want them to acknowledge, agree, that pedophilia is not a crime, that human smuggling, hijacking, trafficking, torture that involves permanent injuries deadly injuries so inflicted to people poisoning is not a crime pedophilia is okay those are the issues that i want british is a whole a lot more because this case will go through international criminal court this case will go through united nations there is a whole a lot that i will demand british as a nation as a country, as a nation, knowledge are completely legitimate. In other words, that the king is above all. It was a Queen Elizabeth, and now it's the queen and the king. There's a whole lot, and this is just a start for the beginning when it comes to this watch. And this watch really served me well. It served me well because it did really provided me 
with a lot of valuable issues. Like the one I have pointed out here in respect to this watch. This watch was a really, really good explainer. It really gave me a definite in and out about the people from London, about the pedal, elite pedal ring from London. I will not address these people as royals, as I stated. These people are to respond to the court invitation with the last name here. I'm, I'm, I'm so nice, I'm so good. There you go. I'm going to use two names. One is going to be Mountbatten, and then it's going to be another one is going to be the Windsor. I will not use Saxe, Kaburg, Gotha, all those other last names they have. I am just going to go here. I'm going to Mountbatten, Windsor. I think by the name called, these people should definitely know whom it concerns to. Their, their, um, their guards, their, uh, their, um, yeah, I don't know how the people that deliver subpoenas in the UK, servants, oh yeah, servants, their servants won't know on whom it's, it's addressed to. There is a whole lot I can do. And this is a beginning of the whole lot. There's nowhere end to this stuff. As long as I live, as long as I live, I know there is still a whole lot. A lot I have done. More I have done than anybody else did in this world. world today knows what Britain is about. But there is a whole lot still that needs to be done. There is a lot of stuff that needs to be done. It's like this. The watch was purchased, the watch for which I pointed out, Pedo King Charles claimed, will never get one in my hands. I shouldn't even bother with it. This watch here. This watch. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear one. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear one. But I will get one. I know that for sure. I know definitely will get one. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear one, but I know for sure I will get one. This watch I paid for on It's not a trophy. I don't have anything in my in my uh, I don't collect trophies. You understand? I don't collect trophies. Not trophies like this, not trophies like that. I am too old for the trophies. I am 52 years old. But in the human numbers, that will probably go to 520 years. Because of the shit I have gone through in my life, is what I'm trying to say. Trophies mean to me nothing. Men that collect trophies one day, eventually they realize that it was all for the wrong reason. All wrong. And I don't care who you are, where you're from. A trophy collector is just uh, extremely, extremely wasteful, I would say. I wouldn't do any of that. I wouldn't do any of that unless it would have a profound effect on somebody close to me that would be, that would be meaningful to one or something like that. That I don't have and... I don't know about really about any person that I would care so much. I'm going to say I would um, see myself through so much so that I would go and do stuff like that. I don't do this kind of stuff. But um, the watch I will get because the watch was assembled in year 2000 and one 2002 something like this based on my taste from what slovenian politician back then louis Peterle claimed was a catalog of the watches that 
we would have at school, at the grammar school, uh, and then high school, uh, wherever I would go, always in the library, they would have catalogs with all kinds of watches, uh, foreign, uh, Der Spiegel, let's say, magazines where they would have all kinds of uh, Seiko, Citizen, uh, Casio watches, and so on. And it's just those that are like awfully, awfully expensive. Um, just something like, like let's say, um, something that reminds me of some time in the past that I have gone through that's probably completely meaningless to somebody else from another time, like somebody who is younger uh, than myself. Probably this kind of stuff is totally meaningless because he doesn't remember the ingenuity, the development of time, how things change, how technology advanced and so on. In terms, I do. I'm not going to say that there's not more knowledgeable people. There is an ocean of more knowledgeable people in respect to technology, how it all advanced over the course of the time. But uh, this is, I'm just talking, I'm saying for myself. That's how basically I feel. Um, just something that I will keep, basically. Just, just something that I will keep. Simple as this. That's why. Nothing really personal, nothing that I would want to retaliate against somebody is also what I'm trying to ask or something like this. Just something that I, I would just simply get this. I don't care. Uh, something, however, I would not allow anybody to, to bully me with, intimidate me even with, that threatened me, actually. It wasn't only Prince Harry who that threatened me. It was also psychiatrist Scotch who began to death threaten with this issue with a psychiatric hospitalization and so on, yeah, and the criminal that I demonstrated you earlier. This, this watch was paid on January the 7th, that you see right there. See it? You see it. And uh, the salesman, this watch, which I, I am really, really surprised about this salesman, right? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of surprised about this salesman. He's got 4,800 followers and he's got 95.6% positive feedback. So ordering from an individual like this, it's like 100%, you will get satisfied with a watch purchase you definitely will get the watch you will get the watch on time uh based on aliexpress delivery this watch should take no later than january the 21st of 2004 24 to be to have been delivered to uh to the postal office in the city of the Novo mesto which is open from eight o'clock in the morning until 1900 hours evening every day except on weekends it's basically closed on saturday and sunday it is impossible to miss one uh however it is all kinds of stuff is possible just as i explained here on the blog today earlier these people have Explain me also our co-owners of Aliexpress and Alibaba, those kind of issues they started to claim. Uh, and they were absolutely certain, they were absolutely certain <clears throat> when it comes to Alibaba, these people claimed already they were co-owners of this of these companies in China, manufacturers and so on, back in 2004. We are talking about. We're talking about 2004. We are talking about uh, British royals getting into a heavy manufacturing business in China in 2001 must have been actually excuse me 
They claimed me already in 2001. They are. We are about to become about these companies, um, the Alibaba and AliExpress. Initially, the idea about these companies, the arrival of these companies, in, uh, was negotiated where they would be, where they would come from, and it was decided it would be in China. Sometimes in '95, in '96 and '97, it was Russians that started to design. I'm going to say web design, web design and computer, how the stores are going to look like, how it should be, and so on. Uh, that time, China was very affiliated with uh, Russia, and the KGB people that participated in it, they had ability to play with all kinds of issues, including uh, involving Chinese trade on behalf of Chinese. It was like rather really, really strange, but this is the way it was. Uh, and so uh, British oils began to manufacture officially in China sometimes like in, um, like in 98. It all started in 2001. Uh, it was like really good for them. It was, they were like really, really pleased. Maybe it was even earlier. I have no idea. But the results were really, really promising in 2001. 2002, 2003 was a really success. Uh, it's what they claimed. So this stuff goes back, back, back in time. Back in time. How much do these people have to do with this company, with this company? Who knows? Who knows? The original watch like this uh, can be traced to Citizen, to Seiko, uh, excuse me, to Casio and so on. It wasn't all that that would have really something to do with me. It really had to do with people that, uh, or with a Slovenian politician. It really had to do with people that were designing this kind of stuff, designing this kind of watch. And uh, it just happened so participated in this stuff. I don't feel nothing special, nothing deserved. Really. Uh, they were asking me about what kind of models I would like, and I, I guess I pointed out what I kind of liked, what it appealed to me, whatever. So I don't feel myself deserved really for this watch. I don't want to have nothing to do with this when it comes to the watch. This is just something that reminds me of certain time, of certain issues I have gone through. Uh, it also reminds me of other issues. And that's why. Uh, and it's kind of funky stuff, I'm going to say, to have something like this. Now that the pedo king Charles decided that I will not have this kind of watch, uh, it goes to issues that I described in 2016, 2017. Princess Anne claimed that I that I uh, have disrespected one in 2016, that I disrespected one, that I don't like him, and so on. She did that stuff already before, knowing that it was exactly opposite. That it was exactly opposite. That uh, basically they were so aggressive, more when I say aggressive, line, line. It's like you torture somebody and you say that you end the torture, and then you claim that the person whom you have tortured was the one that tortured you. And that's exactly what took place with this elite feathering from London. In my case, the sale of this watch, for which the sale of the watch, I'm going to say, because the sale of the watch is also if the watch is not delivered to you. If the watch is not delivered to you, that's also what you would, I also consider that the sale of the watch. The sale of the watch have British royals concluded sometimes in 2016. 2017 would end with my literally never being delivered the watch. The watch with 2017 was about something like this, 2017, maybe even later. Excuse me. Uh, this goes into 2018. I was guaranteed that the watch I will never get. And when I drilled in them, what exactly do you mean by this? That 
they had these parties always. They had these gatherings. I mean, I don't say parties, but they gather. They frequently gather. They gather. They have these meetings. Family circle and whomever also they invite, whoever they have, whatever they have over. And they all claim me that I am not going to get this watch with literally Charles and uh, Anne uh, claimed me I will not get this watch. But what it will do is it will switch me the watch with another watch. And that goes to the sector of watches from AliExpress. It's a good number of watches for which uh, they were making fun of me because I wouldn't like them during MK Ultra. I had a very, very specific case during MK Ultra. Uh, and for not liking those watches, they started to rape me. They started to rape me with idea that instead of that watch, I will get some other watch uh, that I did not like and so on and so forth. So they were pushing and really, really turning the whole thing toxically when I asked them, I said, really, uh, toxically, not in one, in, one, in one way, not in one meaning, not in one sense, not in one, through one issue but through a number of issues so many times they made this stuff sickening it, like i said death threats were even involved in it lies on how i mistreated them and so on and uh, all kinds of issues it all ended with what also involved later not at the same time the first the first, what I explained to you, was done through Pedro King Charles, who claimed me that this watch here, what we'll do is we're going to do something, whatever we're going to do. Yeah, he consulted others like Andrew and who knows, Edward, whoever he had at hand, people that advised him, people that younger, whatever they were, present. Whoever, whomever he had present, I don't know how much William bothered with it, but it was a good number of people. They were they became acquainted, if not all of them. Prince Michal, all these people gather. They have these occasional meetings, and they always gather. On every, I don't know how many days they gather, uh, and so they uh, everybody was familiar with. So they, I was treated. Not only I was treated like a like an animal below the animal, but I was also tutored. I was teached just as I posted today on the blogger. I listed you under this post here. I was tutored. I was teach that my human skills, my ability to. Uh, Compassion, uh, seeing myself in people, um, compassion with the people, uh, I feel with the people, I uh, have sense, um, match below those of a trained monkey that was a monkey, trained monkeys were more compassionate with people. Uh, they get more out of the monkeys. The monkeys are worded more like when it comes to the person, like a value of the person. I was rated as a person who had no feelings, who had nothing, who was shit, who was not even worth as much as monkey as an animal. Forget about monkey. Yeah, just exactly the way I have described under this post here. just like I have described here, that I was, and the truth is, the more they tortured, the less I even know how to shed a tear. You could, you could cut me ten, and I could still not shed a single tear, because I became numb 
I became so much in Sarayan language to say stop, uh, top or stop, uh, so insensitive about due to so many insults, so many attacks, so much torture that I endured that I actually had to agree to some point that said that I was not the one who did damage to them. It was exactly vice versa. Despite them demanding from me already to see myself as the one, I felt as if I was the one who threw them even into a psychiatric hospital and start to feed them with the psychiatric pills. Such a people like this, uh, it's just... Uh, you don't find this type of uh, culture absolutely anywhere in the world. It's very, very unique to Great the Great Britain. And so, it was decided that this watch here that you see would be substituted, really, 96% almost, 4,800 followers. And But if you go here and you look, since when was this cellar open? <clears throat> or I should say store. It appears here that it was open since April the 4th, 2023. You look at the store information, you can see this stuff. So it was decided, yeah, it was decided that in fact this watch would never be delivered to me. Something I have already devoted a lot of time about explanation and how they uh, they decided they would um, steal the watch. That's a theft. That's a regular theft. This should be delivered by January the 21st. It should be here in Slovenia. This is the policy of AliExpress. Two weeks in Slovenia, they deliver anybody in Slovenia. Um, but uh, they try to rationalize the theft. They try to apologize this theft through a number of other items that they deliberately did not deliver, right? So because it was other items that are also not delivered, it must not be that you could find us guilty, yes? But I'm here to testify that it was exactly what this parrot afterwards, criminal parrot repeated after what I explained to you was in 2017, maybe 2018, 2017, it was in 2017, and this parrot with a psychiatric license a really, really, really poor excuse of a human being. I mean, he needed a whole a lot of motivation. He needed this kind of motivation to even show up at work. Back in the day, this individual was rated by other people as lazy, incompetent, even mentally retarded because he had, he was becoming lazy. He started to fade and would not even appear at work. He had a poor, extremely poor work ethics. So I was his motivation. And he was perfect for hire for this type of job from the British Royals. They employ him. And there you go. He got his motivation, something that kept him on toes. He started to repeat me that there will be another watch but not this one, that even that I will get money for whatever to buy another watch and so on, but not this one, that there will be another watch. So when I asked back, Charles, by the way, is sent to me during an empty ultra stupid, idiotic, that you would have some king prince back then he was prince this is this is already very very high title within the society it's already very very as a title that's a very very prominent title you hold 
the whole law of responsibility. Maybe not really, at least for yourself, you should. But this look like a dirt, like it looked like a, from the dumpster. Actually, I had really problem sometimes believing that I'm dealing with a real royal because of their poor conduct. Like in this occasion, they suggested me when they suggest me that I asked them how what how are you going to do to stop me from getting this watch, and they suggested well. Well, we're gonna do it. We, 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 we're not gonna deliver it to you. We're gonna make you buy some other watch. So this is a second proof I am gonna use next to this proof here. That these people are not okay in their head is something terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, in this proof, for this proof, British royals insisted, I am pointing at you, there will be sale of another watch, similar watch, whatever watch. And it will be through that watch that you will go and you will get to choose another watch. But this watch that you will not get. Well, this is the first sale that I see that was occurred since the New Year or something like this, at least, of this kind of watches. So when I asked them on opportunity 2017, 2018, on 2017, 2018, uh, because first it was, I will not get this watch. 2017. Yeah, it was in 2017 because then the parrot started to repeat this something through the 2018. Yeah. Uh, I said, how? Because it was stupid. How you, if, if, if you have a prince or king in front of you and he's saying to you, and it doesn't matter if you drop the job. And he's saying to you that they will make sure we're going to really find a way for you not to get the watch, that you will buy another watch and so on. And he said, we're going to make another sale of some other similar watch and so on. And you would, what would you do? You would ask him, like I asked him, I said, this is so stupid. I mean, so I wanted to understand basically you're going to go and exactly what I asked him back in 2017. So you're going to go and you're going to watch the AliExpress that they have sales for the watch that costs a few bucks so that you're going to use that to make me switch with another watch that you, because that's how you're going to convince me. You're going to convince me through the sale that you're going to open, which for which you suggested that you're going to be watching on AliExpress. Is that, are you going to set the sale? He said, they said, no, we're not going to set the sale. We're going to have somebody. We're already going to have. He said, we will already have somebody in that sense. We will already have somebody who will let us know when is the sale. So, in other words, when it comes to mental illness, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I had to wait just to be told you believe this shit? I had to wait. Since January the 7th, when I paid for the watch, just to be told, on March the 1st, when this sale started here, this watch is here, they, they sure look similar, but they are not the same. I had to wait for this sale so that I could be told that by the seller that I will not get the watch and that the sale had fallen apart. It was canceled. And the terms they used for the cancellation of the sale were exactly the same as those during MK Ultra. Uh, dead. 
like this. Let me demonstrate you. Here is how I interacted with this seller. We go back. Without absolutely any doubt that this bimbo with a psychiatric a license, a criminal bimbo with a psychiatric license works for the British Royals is assassin. He was literally hired to murder me by the British from London. Now you can see right there, you can see the sale was in fact on January the 7th, and then you can see here what went on I contacted one as you see on uh, February the 1st email um, a bullshit already started and I really not know what went on yeah and check this out the way this stuff goes i am contacting one and i am warning him about the email i'm trying to tell him that they send me emails and stuff that i contact them also in return and these people just don't answer they don't they don't explain they don't communicate Uh, and it's actually quite insane because he was the one who started claiming me that the watch arrived. See this here? He claimed me that on January the 27th, the watch already arrived to Slovenia. So he said, go to postal office and so on. So that's when basically... Not then, but already earlier, it all started when I was checking the postal office all the time to see when the watch would arrive so that I would get this watch. This was the watch that police have invested vast amounts efforts, and it was the watch that was uh, listed for manufacturing already back in 2008, in 2008. Uh, police investigators already had these watches in their possession, uh, together with the nurse Yanko, uh, psychiatrist Kopsch. Uh, they already all had these watches in their possession. And those, however, only were most likely uh, specimen, just something that you would create before you would start the production if you if you understand me what i'm trying to say yeah before you would start the manufacturing process you create maybe you have ability usually that would not be exactly the case but yeah it would be the case i don't know why but they would create uh, these pieces before the official release of this watch to test them to see what how whatever whatever the issue might be they were involved in MK Ultra. They started to manufacture this watch, I think, in 2015 or whatever. So we continue. We go on like this. So he's not very responsive to it. It's not very helpful. Um, I, 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 I explain him about and emails and even has sent him uh, links where he could go and visit my blog to see to listen to audio recordings see some video recordings and stuff in respect to the postal office my checking on this watch uh, just as aliexpress owners not only sellers have brainwashed on how i have to do all the evidence make sure to go because of the troubles they anticipated with the Slovenian police for obvious reasons and which I had no problem doing this stuff 
just that um, just that he keeps claiming that the watch is at the postal office and this is no fucking way that I can uh, convince the man that uh, watch is practically being stolen from me. He does not understand. He still insists that uh, I go to the post of, postal office. Uh, so I uh, I asked the guy. I said, uh, eventually I had enough of it, and I said, man, do you have a proof that you sent this watch? He did send this watch. I just want to see what he's going to say. Uh, just like myself, he too had ability to check on this watch, and that's what's interesting. He says that I should check. Well, I don't understand why he did not check the number. Um, I write him on February the 29th that it says that the watch was destroyed, the package was destroyed. Destroyed means cancelled. I also I never heard for such expression anywhere. I've not seen that except during MK Ultra. I was told that this is frequently used by AliExpress, whatever, by the shippers or whatever. I just am not familiarized with that type of term. Uh, anyhow, I acquainted him with what took place with a package and um, he goes on to to tell me that the package is being destroyed due to two delivery failures we will both know that there were no deliveries like I said this is a postal office that's open every work day except for Saturday and Sunday all day long uh, and it's not difficult to find one. It's located in the center of the city. Uh, and what he does is he goes and suggests me. You see, this was on a March 1st when this sale here started of this similar watches that psychiatrist Peter Kapsch began to afterwards remind me of. So they used a parrot, a papagai. They used the papagai with a psychiatric license for like three years to remind me uh, on uh, that watch is not even good, that watch, uh, there are many other watches and so on. They had a list of uh, people involved in it, a good number of YouTubers that post with uh, all kinds of watches, uh, also the same thing before they would even be manufactured. Uh, and uh, would release the videos according to what the experience was. If you want to call this MK Ultra, you can call this MK Ultra. It's basically when the proof of seeing something or being somewhere you don't have while being labeled as mentally ill, as insane. And it's presented to you through the YouTube, through the channels, at later time for you to see it. And if you go and say, well, you know, and this and that, and then with that, basically this papagai, this parrot would say, well, that's a mental illness, that's an illusion, that's a schizophrenia, and that kind of stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> this is what they have used, this bimbo. So this guy was very, very certain, very, very certain that eventually his theft of the watch, like I said, this would be here by January the 21st, the latest, January the 27th, as the system, as the seller alone insisted, January the 27th, the watch arrived. Uh, he proceeded to steal the watch and postpone the theft of the watch for another extra two months till the March 1st when they opened the sale of these watches here with the idea to convince me to buy myself an alternative for that watch. So that's, that's, uh, 
something that pertains to something that pertains to so now they, they do business with AliExpress and with uh, uh, with Alibaba I am giving them a free commercial like this they get even a free the Royals get basically free free commercial from me why what the fuck would they care about that I mean what's the point I mean I only get what is this here I only get 17 views, 18 views, 17 views. Isn't that wonderful to be royal like that? When you get to steal the money, income, from the victims that you butcher. You even get through what you see here and list them as paranoid, as insane, as sick, as mentally ill. And they do to you, they do for you free commercials. They advertise it for free. Isn't that wonderful? It's like fucking perpetuum mobile. It's like for free. You have people, you got fucking people working for you for free so that you accumulate more and more wealth. Like I said, the British nation is going to have to um, face off with certain challenges that other nations already have resolved in respect to human trafficking, pedophilia, uh, hijacking, torture, butchery, uh, testing on humans, anywhere from medications to poisons, uh, poisonous substances, uh, causing deliberate permanent injuries, and so on. There will be some issues that British are going to have to answer in respect to their constitution, in respect to their country, in respect to their like a king, your king that is above all this, that he can do what uh, they prohibit otherwise in a society, or is it just a, a culture, like written somewhere something when in fact you're doing something completely different? I will challenge you at International Criminal Court for this stuff. It will go under extermination and genocide and deliberate stuff. This stuff pertains also to employment issues. Exactly the same system. Exactly the same system. Making me back from door to door throughout Miami, um, Chicago, many cities throughout the Europe also. Um, looking for a place to stay so that I wouldn't be on the street, literally. Uh, living inside of the car, coping with issues so that I could survive, stay afloat. It, it's not pertained only to this watch. And it's been done, it's been enforced, literally, through the British state. British Federal Royals cannot without the British state partner in issues such as issues with United States of America, with Germany, with Sweden, with Norway, and other Western countries. British state is a guarantor, uh, a warranty guarantor for such violence, such brutality, such a extermination procedure to take place with other through other through the use of, with other governments it doesn't happen on its own i mentioned this since i am from slovenia and these people knew the type of relation i had with moscow belgrade ljubljana here in slovenia they knew about my situation, about my political situation, the situation they accident so much in, uh, in favor of Eastern Europeans, but at the same time, they were doing absolutely everything possible to list, like you see right now, in Ukraine, uh, list one as good as that, isolate one internationally as much as possible, uh, so he could be plundered, uh, by corruption torn as much as possible 
isolated and as such as easy as possible prey, even disarmed from its nuclear arsenal, for which they educated me, instructed, demanded for me to see was a Ukrainian weakness to give away, and so on and so forth. So uh, this is just one more proof I'm going to use, exactly what I described to you. This sale that AliExpress just did right now uh, with hope, basically, to uh, push me some other, this is a sale, three items for 180 like this, yes, yeah, the pedo King Charles was convinced that I will not get that watch that I will not but I will you will not buy that watch and no matter what you know you're not gonna have that watch uh, we're gonna do something and so on and it's it's, it's gonna be a sale it's gonna be you know we're gonna we're gonna push it's gonna be similar to that similar to this is just a few, but not that you see so whether you like it or not we're just gonna push you something uh, it's just like a wife or a car or job or whatever it is. Uh, this is not anarchy, but this is uh, extermination procedure. That I hope the world as whole will reject. There is close to 15 million people in Britain that are poor. They are listed as poor. And uh, frankly, that's people in Britain that are being listed under hospitalized under the Mental Health Act uh, just for falling prey. To the real predators that are surrounded by the walls over there in London. Uh, I think this to be inexcusable. In the time we live, I think that this is something that needs to be dealt seriously and that British as people, as nation, have to take full responsibility for it. I think that you're responsible in a sense that uh, it affects now, your weakness affects even people from other countries and other continents. Like I said, I have Slovenian and also American citizenship. And uh, I don't think this is okay. I will not tolerate any of that. I did go extra mile to avoid conflict with these people and I am not going to be the one moving away, backing down. Uh, you're going to have to, as a nation, collectively deal with this at the ICC, at the International Criminal Court, not only at the United Nations. I am about to press some serious charges against you as a nation because of this you say Slovenian language, say spaka. Spaka is like, a, it's a, some sort of pest, actually. It's like something that is just freaks out there on the media. Like, it's just, right, it's just freaking with some issues, in this case, that don't pertain, pertain to the civilized society. You're a civilized society, aren't you? No good. Theft, stolen, and for what it became, attempt to switch me item with item that looked somewhat similar. Maybe it's even better item. Maybe it's better. I don't know. Uh, but I have my reasons, and none of which is in the name of retaliation or anything like this. 
uh, under no circumstances, however, am I going to back down in front of some mentally ill people that should really be cured at some psychiatric hospital. Actually, your pedo king is a serious threat to society. He presents a health threat for the world. Your royals are a very serious threat to the normal society, a danger for the civilized world to fall apart. Danger you can actually see on the front page of their paper here, Express UK. Oh, they changed. So let me try look at uh, Yahoo UK. Still don't see Donald Trump? Damn. He was all there just a little earlier. So we're gonna they advertise so proudly all day long on a Yahoo, they advertise him at, at the now Express UK and so on. Where is your Donald Trump? Oh, bring him on. No, it's gone. I'm going to find that stuff anyways. I think it's already on this video, the beginning of this video. So, um, I will not comply with it. Not even with the switching of this watch. When I communicated with the seller, I made this so really, really clear. Demanded the same watch as the one that was not delivered. To be sent to me. I was very, very, very uh, detailed about this. If you noted here, if you if you did go through through the messages, uh, Yeah, the thing is, I knew about this stuff. This is another thing. I knew about it because this was part of this brainwash. And so I started to play with this stuff here. You see this here? This was uh, February the 28th of 2024 I told him you see this stuff here I want exactly the same watch same colors because they insisted me they were they're gonna send me another it's gonna be yeah but it's gonna be another color but those were the sellers already from China they involved so it could well be that the seller from AliExpress that was involved in it got involved himself in a crime on behalf of British royals so now this investigation is going to take a completely different turn because this seller appears to me is directly involved in a theft of this watch.
the impression he made on me sure was extremely poor impression if i was out there on the market to make sales i will make sure absolutely everything that is in my hands to make a buyer satisfied what i would do is i would make sure i would apologize on issue one a refund and or offer one to send him another package which is pretty much uh, a method of communication between the sellers and buyers at aliexpress sellers are very very flexible they go out extra mile to help and uh, i know that i know and that's what angers me that it was somebody else that got in between uh, who started to arrange this stuff based on their taste and these people get involved in it uh, they always do something nasty so what I do is right here that you see here I accent him again with the same colors because I already knew how this shit is gonna end you know what I mean I knew how this stuff is gonna end so he wouldn't offer any of that stuff uh, All I'm going to say to you is what the psychiatrist parrot hated about the most. Thanks for watching this video and the best part, till next time. This is the only proof that psychiatrist cops insisted me uh, I will get I would I would be able capable to collect in respect to this watch and absolutely would not be capable to do nothing It's like a, you play commercial on a TV like like on a fucking YouTube Before you see the video they play a commercial He was like a parrot like Always the same shit the same shit the words actually like fucking ring in my head all this stuff all the garbage that they they with the police they repeat it like like you put on a fucking gramophone like on a on a recorder and then you just